like Nick uh, Sapnap called me uh, the other day, or talked to me in person or something the other day. Uh, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember when it was, but it was after he watched the Sam and Colby videos. And he goes, "Dream, did you see Sam and Colby's recent video?" Um, and I said, uh, "I said, oh no, why?" He's like, "Oh, it's crazy. They do this, this, this like knocking thing. How do they do it?" He always comes to me about ghost stuff because he, because he, uh, Nick is like, uh, Nick doesn't believe in ghosts, but he also like he's such a skeptic about everything. So he came to me and he was like, "Hey, uh, how do they do this?" Um, or explain it, right? Explain this. And so he he, gave, he just gave me a rundown. This is what he said. He said, "There's these guys in the video that whenever they hold hands, um, they they can uh, you know they they can talk to ghosts, and you hear a walking noise. Like you have like a walking noise whenever they they when the ghost like comes in the room, and you hear knocking as they walk in, and then they can talk to them, and they say things about like you know dead people. They took them to random places. They took them to like a a random uh, you know church. They took them to a random you know whatever, and they were able to speak to a dead person from that died in that church." And, um, you know, and, and we, we, at this random location, they made them switch their shoes. They made them do that. So that's what I was told. So that's all the information I know. Right. And my reply was, oh, it's a magic trick. And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, well, I'm never gonna be able to tell you like exactly how they did it in the same way as even if you showed me, but if you had described, oh my God, this guy came out, he had nothing in his hat. He opened his hat and there was a rabbit. And then he opened his hat again and there was a bird and they opened his hat again and there was flowers. And I was like, you see what I mean? And he's like, oh yeah, I get it. It's like a magic trick. And I was like, yeah, so it's the same. I'm not gonna be able to describe how they do it. Um, but if you know enough about magic, you can explain like possibilities of how they do it. And then Nick was like, oh, that makes sense. And he's like, yeah, the problem is, is he's like, yeah, I believe it's a magic trick, but I don't know how they do it. And it's frustrating because I don't know how they do it. That's what Nick said. And I was like, yeah, but you'll never know. You just have to, you have to just appreciate the fact that it's magic and that it's really clever. It's good. It's cool. And how, how do they do it? Um, but it's fun to theorize. So Nick was like, well, what do you theorize? And I was like, well, you know, like I gave the ventriloquist example and said, like, they could be talking, um, they could be making noises through their mouths, they could be making noises through, um, you know, their joints or whatever. Um, and he was like, oh, that, that's clever. But he's like, but how would they do it? Because you, you like hear them walk in. Um, and he was like, well, what about Sam and Colby? Um, you know, and I, he's like, so you think they're faking it? I was like, no, I don't think Sam and Colby are faking it. I think that Sam and Colby believe in ghosts. And so they're not, I don't think they're being taken advantage of, but it's almost like, you know, a kid that believes in magic and then you have a magician making things disappear in front of them, the kid's going to be amazed and wowed and have the biggest smile on their face and get emotional. And that's amazing. That's awesome. Um, unless they're like actually like, you know, stealing money from someone or, or whatever. Um, but anyway, so Nick, uh, so Nick, Nick said that. And I was like, yeah, so, but the, so I don't, I don't think Sam and Colby are faking it. I think the people are. Um, and then I said, uh, so I think that, uh, you know, just because just because it's not real doesn't mean that the video is not real because they could totally like believe in it. And then he asked about the people, you know, the whole like um, they know about the random location. And then I told them the same location thing. I was like, well, you know, r random locations are never truly random. If you're going to go film, you need like a lot of times you need like filming permits to film in certain places. And if you don't need, need a filming permit, you know, you're not going to drive a million like hours. You, you have a you have a time limit. Um, they may even tell like this is something that like as an example with like I gave the manhunt example because the manhunt because manhunt's a good example in that there's like there's there's like filming parameters, right? Filming parameters like in a manhunt, um, there's things that make the video more interesting like like rules like we can't use the same portal. We ban certain things like strength pots and stuff after their OP, certain OP traps and glitches to make sure that the videos seem interesting. You know, if I die early, we run the we do a new run um, and we pay the hunters to keep them motivated. Um, you know, once I'm past, like once I'm deep into the video, like once I'm into the nether um, and later on, then we don't redo it. And th those videos are the videos that go final. Um, but we also want to keep the videos interesting. I've been ahead at certain points, like in the nether. And been like, this was a boring video, guys. Can we just can we just start over? And they've been like, fuck yeah, but we'll start over, even though I'm ahead and I'm winning. Um, so there's things like that that don't make Manhunt not real. Manhunt's 100% legitimate, but that make it very interesting, right? That make it way more interesting than if we didn't do any of that stuff. And so there could be things like that as an example. But but I, but I don't go around. We don't go around and advertise that. Like yeah, I'm saying this on a stream, but like I don't post. I'm not going to post a dream video saying that. Because it's almost, it's, it's similar in that it reveals like the, it's, pull, it's pulling the curtain away. Was the boat clutch first try? It was first try of, uh, you know, of a boat clutch, but it wasn't first try manhunt. Like obviously for that manhunt video, we probably recorded a ton of times. I probably died many times. You know what I mean? Um, and as an that, I, I've never done, I had never done a boat clutch, like a crafting of boat clutch before, but I had tried crafting things in midair before 100% and failed and died. 
Um, now they may they may not may not even have known that I did that, but I have tried um, uh, crafting things in midair. I knew that was a possibility ever since the, like you know the beginning of the Manhunt series. And there's so many things that I had on like a notepad as an example um, that uh, that like that I never ended up doing. Or like as an example, that end thing where um, where like I I flew on the boat on a boat to the end. Um, uh, like sorry, I flew on a on a, a on a flying machine to go and get um, uh, the the elytra. I had that on a notepad for so long. Like I told Tommy that I was gonna do that, like three manhunt videos before I did it, and and probably a hundred manhunt recordings before I did it. You know what I mean? So like I have ideas like that that then then whenever it shows an opportunity, I'll try it. And so there was many times where like I grabbed slime blocks or um or something, and, and I was like, oh my god, I could do the flying machine, and then I just didn't end up doing it. Right. Um, so I had already like already I already knew like, oh, my God, a really cool clutch play I could do um, would be uh, crafting something in midair. Um, I thought like crafting a water bucket and grabbing water, crafting a boat and, and crafting a boat and then, um, you know, like uh, and then clutching with the boat. I thought like crafting a, a, a you, many things. Right. I, I've thought about, um, uh, uh, you know, doing and I'll I'll have a notepad beforehand. And a lot of times I'll have a notepad on like when I go into a manhunt with like strategy plans and I won't even use like almost any of them. Right. It's like a, a cool thing as well as like back in the early days of manhunt, I used to, I would go through and like test things. So like, um, I used to go and pitch things to my brother, my brother, my brother plays Minecraft too. And, um, and I would go to him and I would say, Hey, I have these like ideas, but I want to make sure they actually work. Can you go and test them and like, see if they work? Can you help me test? And so like, as an example, um, back in the very early days of manhunt, um, uh, I had an idea about me using invisibility potion and, um, and like in the nether, right. And sneaking past them in the nether. But I didn't know if like, like this is, this is how intense I thought about all my manhunt plays, which is what makes manhunt so good is, is that all these little things. And this is why people were, were ne are, aren't, will never, and have never been able to recreate like manhunt and its appeal is that it's, it's the knowledge of Minecraft for, you know, 15 years, it's the coding knowledge of Minecraft and the, the deep understanding of the game. It's like, as an example, I, I had the thought of, oh, I want to use invisibility potions in the nether. And I thought, oh, but what if when you go through the portal for like a second or two, you're visible? So I went and tested that. And like, that's a total possibility because when you go through a portal, sometimes you like glitch, right? And you become visible, invisible. And so I wasn't sure if like, even in that scenario, um, you know, like would you, if, if you went through a portal would you like become uninvisible for a second and they see me and would it expose me? So I tested that before, you know, doing that in a manhunt. Um, I tested like the bed, like, you know, and this is very, very early days of manhunt. I was like, oh, well, you know, there's beds that, you know, beds blow up in the nether. But whenever you go through a portal, um, like when I was testing, uh, like blowing up a bed on people in the nether with my brother, um, cause again, I, I couldn't test with any of my best friends cause they're all on manhunt. So I was like, hmm, who can I test with? So I test, sometimes I tested with like Tommy. Sometimes I tested with my brother. Sometimes I tested with, um, you know, like random IRL friends or I tested with myself on an alt. Or sometimes I tested with Callahan, um, but anyway, um, I found out like I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a bed clutch and uh, I'm gonna blow them up with beds in the next manhunt. So this was like very early. So it's probably like before Three Hunters manhunt. So this was so early in my YouTube career, and so I went in a world and I realized like, oh shit, you have vulnerability after you go through a portal. So I can't put the bed right outside the portal. That becomes a problem because what if they see my name or what if they, um, you know, what if they realize that uh, I'm doing it? So I realized I have to make like a hallway. And then I realized like, oh my God, how can, where can you see the bed in the hallway? So I started testing and I was like building a room where I put the beds that way they would get as close to the bed as possible to blow them up while without, um, without seeing the bed down the hallway. So like, as an, like, as an example, if, if I'm in like this hallway here, like this, um, and this, I've never, I've, I've talked about this, like as an example, if I'm walking down this hallway and I have a bed. It's like, at first, you would think like, oh, maybe I'll just put the bed like. I'm going to put the bed here and then when they walk, I'm going to blow it up. Right. But look, you see the bed. Now, what about here? You see the bed last second, but there's blocks here. So if I'm standing here and this bed blows up, these blocks are protecting me from the bed. So th the point is, is you don't think about how everything goes into the bed, like small little plays like that in Manhunt, like little tiny things go into it. And so every little thing was like meticulously tested by me with like my brother or Callahan or somebody before every single clutch play, because you don't know, you don't know, you never, you, you never know like what little small thing. Um, and then like, as an example, you can be deep into a manhunt. And then all of a sudden I have, I, I try something simple like that. 
and this this blocks them and protects them and then it's game over and i just wasted you know three hours of recording and an awesome you know or or like you know a crazy clutch in the beginning and it's so important in like a manhunt to if you if i do a crazy clutch to not then mess something up later on like a, or you know, mess up something simple like a potion or a clutch or or you know whatever and so i had to test like every single thing but anyway the whole rant about that is that there probably is and could be things like that in like a Sam and Colby video um, that they that, that you wouldn't necessarily want to say until after a series is over or you wouldn't necessarily want to pull back the curtain to say that doesn't at all make like a video fake. It's like as an example with the whole thing with them and the locations where they said, oh, we're taking them to random locations. There might be a chance that like the people had to know the random locations beforehand. Do I think that's the case? No. But do I think that there's a chance that when they showed up at Sam and Colby's house, they were told and then they Googled it when they were in the bathroom or something. They could have done that. Um, do I think that they, you, do I think that Sam and Colby, you know, they got asked beforehand and they had to tell them like, oh, well, we're going to go to just like, they're like, oh, well, we need to know where, like, is it parks? Is it whatever? You know, and then Sam and Colby were like, oh yeah, it's parks. Or could Sam and Colby have been tricked as an example where like they said, well, yeah, you can pick random locations, but we need to know, we need to know the locations beforehand because, um, we need to make sure they're not like haunted by demons or something. So we need to go to them beforehand. And then Sam and Colby are still able to be honest and say that they're random locations. Right. But be slightly, you know, but, but, but we, but like, it's like, it seems dishonest to you or you would be like, Oh, that's a lie, but it wasn't random. They told them beforehand, but like they had to, cause they thought, you know, that's what they were, that's what they were told by the, by the magicians or whatever. Um, or again, as an example, they got, they like Googled parks around and got lucky or, or, you know, or knew, or they knew that, you know, they saw like old Sam and Colby videos. Maybe Sam and Colby have done that before. Um, or like as an example, maybe even they were like, they were driving by and these people were like, oh, look at that park. That's a cool place to do it. And Sam and Colby were like, oh yeah, let's do it there. And again, because they believe in ghosts, they're, they're not going to be thinking that these people are lying to them or, or, or doing a magic trick. That's the whole point. The whole point is that you can, things can seem fake like in a video um, because of like rules or because of things that the audience doesn't necessarily know. That doesn't make a video fake. So it doesn't make a video fake. Uh, it doesn't make a manhunt fake that I can practice plays beforehand or have an idea of clutches I'll do. It doesn't make a manhunt fake that I can, um, you know, that, that if I die early, we can read, you know, we can redo and start with a new seed. It doesn't make a manhunt fake that Callahan can, you know, or somebody can pick out seeds and find which ones are cool, um, you know, for like a beginning of a video. It doesn't make a, you know, the video fake that I can like spawn in and like for you do this before, before and look around and be like, oh, there's a village over there. I'm going to run that way and then not show that in the beginning of the video, you know. But it does make it seem it, it is all those things are explanations to how um, Manhunt can be as cool as it is, just as in just how Sam and Colby videos are the same. There you go. So with Sam and Colby, like I think that it's the exact same in that um, just as much as those people are magic tricks, their videos are made to be entertaining, just like Manhunt's made to be entertaining. And so there's things that 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 you would think are like, oh, well, that makes sense. That makes more sense that if we knew um, you know, if XQCL, yeah. that, that if you, that if you knew, um, you would be like, there'd be some people that'd be like, see, that means manhunt's fake, but it doesn't, that doesn't mean manhunt's fake. And so they might say, see, that means Sam and Colby's videos are fake, but no, you know, it doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't mean it's fake. It just means that they're making good videos and they're good content creators. Um, so like, let me see this. Let me read somebody. If you guys are dissenting, anyone that has a, that disagrees, say in chat and I can, I'll, I'll read your comments. I'll be, and again, I want to be as extreme. I want to be as like honest and respectful and stuff as possible to everybody. And I, I don't, again, I don't think it's at all bad if you believe in, um, ghosts. And again, I, I will say like, I'm not going to, uh, I, I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody. And if people that there's some people that are really, really passionate about believing in ghosts. And, and that's like, especially if they had a moment with their, you know, you're a medium and you disagree. That's fine. I respect your opinion. Um, I think that, uh, I think that as an example, like, uh, so mediums, like mediums are people that can, like, uh, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to go into too much detail. Cause I don't know a lot, but like mediums are people that can speak can can communicate with, um, the other side. It doesn't like to whatever extent, any extent. Right now, I think mediums that go around and, um, claim they can communicate with, um, the dead and can like actually share like, Oh, they said this, they said that they said this. Um, uh, I think that, I think the majority of those people like are just total liars and are probably bad people that are taking advantage of people. Um, but I also think that 
I you see, you see how I use the word majority there? It's interesting that as someone who doesn't believe in ghosts at all, that I don't even think that all of those people are necessarily lying. Like as an example, if I'm watching football, I truly believe as stupid as it sounds that like me wearing me, like not watching a game versus watching a game or not being at a stadium versus watching a stadium you know, versus being at a stadium can somehow impact the game. Now, realistically, does it? Probably not. But I believe like, oh my God, it, it can in the slightest, like me taking that flight, the butterfly effect, right? Like me taking a flight to the game and everything that impacts and then me being there and like the slight loudness difference. And I'm in a certain seat and I, I blocked someone from going to that game that you know, the, every little tiny thing, because I believe in the butterfly effect, I believe like it could have an impact. Now, does, it, does that mean it's good or bad? No, nah, but that's kind of superstition, right? And so my like very healthy view on this type of kind of thing is that I believe that there, I totally believe that there's, there's mediums that, you know, that, that truly believe that they can speak to, that they can communicate with the other side by, um, by like, as an example, they just get feelings or, or, and they, and they feel like, oh, well, that's factually me communicating with the other side. Or they have a thought, like they, someone says something and then they think something, they go, oh, well, I thought that because that's what the person that I'm communicating with is thinking, which what, doesn't even necessarily mean that they're lying. Even if I believe that ghosts aren't real and I believe that um, that they're not actually communicating with the, the dead, right? Or they're not actually communicating with um, the other side. That doesn't mean that uh, they don't think they are. Um, so I, I don't even believe that everyone that thinks like that is, is like bad people or liars. Um, and that's kind of my, my healthy view on stuff like that. So like as an example, yeah, that's super superstitious. But yeah, I can totally believe like, oh my God, my grandpa texted me Boomer Sooner before the last uh, Oklahoma game and I didn't reply and say Boomer Sooner and we lost. Fuck, if I had replied, maybe we would have won. That's so stupid, but like, it's a superstition, and and like it, it has at least some basis where you're like, that cell service that I would have used, and he would have been happier, and therefore he wouldn't have done this, and therefore he wouldn't have said this thing and been less mad, or he would have turned on the game on a different channel, which increases the viewers by, you know what I mean? Or like me as an example, like tweeting out like everybody wiggle, like I truly believe that could have like an impact. How? I have no idea. It's just superstition. Like, I believe like, oh my God, the, everyone that reads that all of a sudden they turn on their TV, it increases the viewership, which then like Fox or the net, the network, you know, does something different because of it, which gives a pause in the game, which could impact it. exactly. So as ridiculous as that is, and you can say that's ridiculous, that's my unique view on the world and that, and that, um, and so I think it's the same thing with like ghosts and with everything else and that, um, people can truly believe in things that aren't necessarily based in like logic. Like, I wouldn't believe that was something else. If someone said like, oh my God, I need to watch the game. Otherwise my team's going to lose. I'd be like, ah, yeah, I understand you. You know, but if somebody said, oh my God, I can, you know, I can, uh, I can, I can think about a dead person and get, like, get a feeling on what, th how they feel. I can be like, okay, I, I see, I see why you could think that you can do that. Does, does that make sense? The person who said they're a median, does that make sense? Is that respectful or, do, or does that still, does that still feel disrespectful? What else do you think Sam and Colby's could have done to debunk uh, Co uh, Cody and Satori's method? See, that's the problem is that um, that's not their job, guys. Like, honestly, I, I know I know that may seem like their job, but they're just like as an example, if I went to a Sam and Colby video, guys, and I and I don't believe in if I, I don't believe in ghosts and everything I'm saying here, I think is logical. I think is respectful. And I want to be respectful to people. And again, I love Sam and Colby. I would love to be in a video of theirs. But if I show up to a Sam and Colby video, guys, I'm not going to be trying to debunk them. That's, that's not, that's not respectful. That's not fun. That's not for content and not even that, but that's not even like, that's not, that, that's not, that's not my job. Like if I was showing up in a Sam and Colby video, obviously I'm there to, to ghost hunt with them. I'm there to, to, to suspend my, my disbelief, to throw away my preconceived biases and to try for a minute and believe in ghosts. Right. That's my job. If I don't do that, I'm disrespectful. I'm an asshole. If I don't do that, I'm an asshole. Um, and I, why am I going on the video in the first place? Just as if they're having these people, um, you know, on their channel, they're there to make content. They're there to, you know, talk about th their stuff. Their job isn't to, in that, in that moment, debunk them. Now, do I think they have a responsibility to their, uh, but like they do that because they started as skeptics 
Um, they like to try to debunk what is debunkable. Yeah, yeah. And I think that totally, go like, as an example, I think they said, maybe they already did make a video, but I think they said they're going to make a video um, trying to debunk it. And I think that's that's 100%. That, that's 100 fair and i think that is their responsibility right to, like if they feel like people are lying to their audience or something i think that is their responsibility but in that moment in the series they were doing that's not their job guys they're exploring ghosts that they, they are trying to figure out if, you know if ghosts are real they're trying to figure out um you know see these crazy people that are showing this crazy thing and they did what they could but like as an example let's say they could have done more these people if they're faking it are going to push back as as much as possible and do everything they can to kind of to, to hide it right so let's say as an example the uh, sam and colby are like we're going to prove that it's fake with them right and the people show up and let's say sam and colby say okay um we're going to go to this um you know this area and and then these people said in th this random area because we know that this is far enough away where they just would never know and then let's say these people said oh we get bad vibes from that area we can't go there do you think that Sam and Colby are going to include that in the video? Maybe, maybe they would, but let's say, do you think Sam and Colby are going to say, no, this is the random location we picked. We're going here. Mm, probably not. All right. They're, they're probably going to be, they're not going to be like, you could, what if you're lying? They're not going to say you guys are lying. You don't get bad vibes. They're not going to do that. Right. It's, it's disrespectful. It's not, they're not going to, they're not going to do that. Now, would I do that? Maybe. Cause if I was going in with my mindset, I'm not Sam and Colby and I, I don't believe in ghosts at all. So I'm going to be like, you know, fuck you. You guys are probably lying. I'll go to my place. But they're not going to do that. Sam and Colby aren't going to do that. They believe in ghosts and they want to they believe in ghosts as well. And on top of that, um, they want to be fair to these people. They want to give them a fair shot. So if they're trying to suspend disbelief and believe that they can knock and talk to the dead, they're also going to listen to them if they say like, hey, we should, we, we're going to avoid this place. Or as an example, if these people said, hey, bef we need to know at least one of the places you know, beforehand um, because we need to know if there's bad vibes there or if there's like demons or or like, we just need to know because we, we want to be able to go there and, and feel it out beforehand so we can have a better chance of making your content entertaining. And if Sam and Colby said yes to that, that doesn't make them, that doesn't make it fake. And I'm, I'm not, I don't even think Sam and Colby did that, but I'm just saying like, let's say they did. That wouldn't even make it fake at all. And it wouldn't make Sam and Colby, they're just trying to make interesting content. They're trying to be respectful. So it's a really good, like, as in, that's a perfect example of, of them being respectful to their guests. So I think when, when you say like, could they have done a better job of trying to um, figure out if they're lying or not? Yeah, they could have, obviously. But that's not their job and that's not what they're trying to do they're trying to make entertaining content and they did a good job like from what nick told me and like nick's a nick's a skeptic but nick's also like um you know he, he's open to anything so like they made nick question it and that's that's kind of the, that's kind of that's kind of like sam and colby's job so i feel like uh they did as good as they could have like nick nick and nick said oh yeah they had him take off their shoes like nick seemed to say like they did a reasonable job at having it not like giving them you know making them not fake like he said they took them to random locations he said they had them take off you know change their shoe buy new shoes whatever so in my mind, um, like I think that Sam and Colby did a perfectly great job. Um, Sam and Colby, Colby did a great job at um, what they were tasked with doing. They were respectful to their guests and they put on an entertaining show, and that's what they did. Um, so I, and I and I don't believe they faked anything. I don't believe that they they were they they were disingenuous in any way. Um, so so yeah. Please get mods, guys. It's I think it's fine. Like honestly, I think that in my mind, um, like I understand. I mean, I haven't seen anything, but. People can be assholes in chat. People can say things in chat as well. I understand that. But I actually almost like the kind of free forum, like of people being able to talk and like just like, if they're being an asshole, just like ignore their message. There's a hundred other messages you can look at, you know? And like, you don't, you don't, I, I know you can, you can think of, but my mindset as an example is like if someone says something negative, like I can laugh at it or I can ignore it. Sometimes someone says something too far, like I'll ban them or something. But at the end of the day, like just, just like ignore it or, or reply to them and say, fuck you or whatever, you know, it's free, it's free flowing. Like do whatever you do, do what you want. I'm, but I promise you guys, I do not get mad at that stuff. So like, it's not hurting my feelings. So if your thing is worse, if you were like, oh, that could, that's gonna hurt dreams feeling, get mods. I'm not. So like, it's fine. If there's, if there are anti saying things, like just either reply to them and call them out or ignore them or, you know, or, or say positive stuff to drown it out. But like genuinely it doesn't bother me at all. So like, I, I don't, I don't, I like when people say get mods stuff, like I, I don't care. Like I, I, it's fine. Like obviously we have mods and they're great, but, um, but, uh, you know, if they're not there or there's or something or they're missing something or like people are just being extra whatever that day i just do not care like it's not going to affect me so george did the hell week with them and other videos with them did george in the beginning think sam and colby were faking it did he believe them um no george has a i think george has a similar view to me um except for he's more he's even more like he, he's quote he's like more of a skeptic than i am like he's not confident there's not ghosts and so on and so forth 
Um, but but he he never came out saying at all that they were faking anything. He never came out saying anything. Um, he said exactly what I've said pretty much, where he was like, yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. He said he was actually scared, but he said he was mostly scared because of like the environments he was put into. Um, like as an example, he said he was actually more scared in the the prison or whatever than he was at the Conjuring house because like being in a house versus being in a prison, and he because he doesn't believe in ghosts, one was scarier than the other. Like obviously a prison scarier than a house. Um, and then he also said that um that as an example. Um, they do a really, he said they do an amazing job at editing, editing. So he said like, you know, like, um, like, uh, they took the best parts where like, you know, there was a moment where he thought he saw something or there was a moment where he was scared and they made sure that they amplified that, put in the video, put epic music. Um, so pretty much what I said, you know? Um, so like he, he he's, he's never said, he, he's never said, he, he totally is on the side. They don't fake anything. They, they're very genuine people. Um, but he has like a very similar view to me. Um, the only difference is, is he's like way more, he's way more of like a, he's way more open to ghosts and he's way more of like, he doesn't know and what, where I'm like, ghosts just don't exist. Any clue what the next video is about? I have, oh, my video or their video. I have no idea about their video. What happened to that video that you said I think might be out? I, I'm editing it. I'm editing it. I'm going to edit it right after the stream. I woke up pretty recently. Um, and I'm going to, as soon as I hop off here, I'm going to edit. Will you ever be in a Sam and Colby video? I'd love to. Oh, you know what? I'll reach out. I'll reach out. I'll, I'll reach out right now. I'm going to, I'll message them. I'm going to say, I'm gonna message them right now. I'm also gonna follow. I don't know if I follow both of them on Insta. Let me follow them. Make sure I follow them. Um, all right, I follow. Uh, I follow both of them. Perfect. Do I follow Sam Colby? I do. Perfect. I'm gonna message them. I've messaged them once before, but it was during the whole. Um, uh, it was during the whole. Uh, uh, unfortunate situation where they were having health problems um i also just clarified i said um by the budget part i mean if there's something expensive you wanted slash one to do you could use it we could use this as an excuse to do it because we could front half or more of the budget and get an awesome collaboration as we're also big youtubers with a big budget could be simple though anyway yeah um but yeah i mean i'd, I'd love to do a video with them i i, I think uh, they they we floated the idea a while ago and then obviously they've done stuff with george and then also we've hung out a lot more um we hung out a couple times and i went to their like 10 mil celebration party and um we've hung out a couple times so they're, they're awesome guys i mean i love them i'm sure they want to do it it just it's just about working out the details and when we do it and then obviously they've had george on multiple times recently so doing another video with george this soon i don't know if they we, we they want to necessarily do that again but but we definitely should do it soon I, i'd love to do a video with them and we do like um, like their, like their version on like their channel. And then I get to edit like a haunted fucking ghost hunting thing for like the dream team channel or something. Like, I love that. That'd be awesome. I'd be totally down to do that. And like, I I'd include in like mine, like skeptic shit and whatever, like it'd be, it'd be cool. Um, I think it'd be an awesome, it'd be a really beneficial collab for both of us. Have you played Spider-Man too? I haven't, but I saw Nick playing some, it's been, by the way, it's been eight days since you uploaded within eight days. Yeah, I plan on uploading either tonight or um, first thing tomorrow. And I wasn't I wasn't counting the stream day, by the way. So I'm I'm on target. I wanted to upload either Friday or Saturday, which is why I said eight days. So I I might have said the wrong like time frame, but I'm on on what my original target was. I'm on target. If I don't get it out uh, by um, like mid uh, like mid to late day Saturday, then I'm not then I'm off target. Um, and you, then then you guys should unsubscribe because that's what I that's what I that's what I said. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to, I just wanted to get it out by like Sunday more like by Saturday night because I wanted to have it be a weekend upload, and my my goal was like Friday night, but um, which could still happen could happen tonight. So if I grind out today, it could. Are we ever gonna get an IRL manhunt? Yeah, guys. I mean, I I really want to do it. Um, it's just a really hard to put together, and I want to get kind of going with other content again before doing it. So like, it, it, I don't want to give it any time frames because there's nothing planned. But like we I had a lot of stuff like done for it. So I can tell you a cool thing we did that um, I wonder if I can show you. Let me see. Um, let me find if I have pictures of this. Um, what I wanted to do, what we what we did essentially is uh, we wanted to have a way to make it so it's like IRL manhunt, but it's not uh, it's it's not like Minecraft, but it has to keep the same like feel. We wanted to make sure it's like, like how do you do IRL manhunt, right? Like you're beating Minecraft, you're beating the Ender Dragon, right? Like that's that's kind of something that is hard to um to do um in real life, obviously. Beat the Ender Dragon. <laughs> Otherwise known as impossible. Um so we were trying to think of ways to make it together. So I won't go into detail on like the the plan of the video, like as in like the the objective and stuff. Um but essentially also another goal in Minecraft 
uh, manhunt is to get like to be to not be killed, right? To be and the hunter's goal is to kill you. So how can we incorporate dying and Minecraft into real life, right? It's kind of hard. So first of all, I'll just say, uh, first of all, we thought, oh, okay, well, you need to kind of have like a heart, right? And we thought, what better heart than like the Ender Dragon? So I mean, the, the Ender Eye. So like, this is kind of like the idea concept is like a, a chest, a little chest piece like here that then has your heart which is like the ender eye right like that's like that's your 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 heart and the goal of the hunters would be to like rip out your heart if they can rip out your heart then you die essentially um so first of all we made an ender eye this is this was like an early like rendition of it i guess and then this is a this is a better like one of the ender eye um and then uh, we were like, okay, how can we put the Ender Eye into a like um, thing? And so we were like, okay, well, we need to work on like a chest piece. So like we have like, okay, well if you have like a normal like kind of like armored like chest piece, and then you need to be able to have something in the middle. And so we we designed like a um, a like a you know like little like chest piece for it. Um, and then uh, there's some videos. Um, so I'll show like this real quick um is uh let me just do this real quick there you go god damn it i keep grabbing minecraft there's the ender eye um Ender eye we made, which is pretty cool. And then there's the little chest plate that the Ender eye kind of goes into. And then, last but not least, there. This is like like low quality and kind of hard to see, but like uh, there's this little mechanism that you push. You basically you push the Ender eye inwards, and then you turn it, and you see like it lights up. And then that's how it pops out essentially um that's in the chest piece like this is all like 3d designed and like printed essentially um so essentially how you would kill me how like sapnap or, or george or whoever would kill me would be they push the ender eye inwards and then twist it and then they pull out like iron like yeah, yeah kind of like iron man so the idea is like from iron man and then um boom it lights up and um it uh you you pull out the ender eye um and uh, and then uh, you have this Ender Eye that is my heart, and they, if you successfully pull it out, you've killed me. Um, so that's how we would do an IRL manhunt death. Now the question is, what would we do for my uh, my win condition? And that's what you'd have to wait, wait, wait for, it and then wait and see. Um, but essentially, I'll be I'd be wearing that heart, I bet that that chest piece, and then also some other stuff. And then, um, uh, if you pull out, if you're able to successfully remove my ender eye, then the hunters win. So probably won't happen for a bit, but again, it's complicated. We put a lot of time into, I think I, I put a lot of effort into stuff like that because I like, I like high quality. And the thing is, is with like, as an example, manhunt, as much as it's simple, like it's super simple. I'm just beating Minecraft and, um, uh, let me fix this, transform this. Um, I'm just beating Minecraft and, um. Uh, you know, I have my friends hunting me as much as, as simple as that is, it's, it's a masterpiece, right? Like in my opinion, it's, it's just so fun to watch and it's so, it's so high quality. Like the, the editing is high quality. Um, the content is high quality, the, the, you know, like the, the jokes and, and like the, the skill, like it's high quality. And the problem is with real life, like I'm not like a parkourist. I'm not like, you know, super buff or super, you know, fast or super, like whatever i'm just like clever so it's going to take a lot of planning for me to make a video that's that's you know even lives lives up to the name of irl manhunt you know and so i put a lot of time into it so i, I very much overestimated before and saying it it's not even close to being recorded or done but when it will be i want to make it so it's actually like there's a lot of effort there's a lot of like clever moments there's a lot of cool stuff and so in order to do that i have to 
take a lot of time. And so that's kind of where that's at. I'll show you this though, because I was I was just on um when I was sharing paint, I'll just share it again. Um I also had like this was like a, a super little thing. And then we had like little like <laughs> you could like view your passport in Minecraft, like click P or whatever, you'd see your passport. And then um I think you I already leaked this one time on accident, but we had like fucking like potatoes farmed um as like a ode to techno and um and then just like other stuff that was you know kind of simple there was a bunch of other stuff as well this is just like random ideas but um but we had a uh, um oh where was the there was another one there was like la uh, languages or oh yeah it's on here words translated for people and there was like the there was like leaderboards for like using words and like speaking in other languages you could like speak in like if you were speaking in Spanish and you were marked as an English player, then you got like po points for speaking Spanish if it detected you speaking Spanish. I don't know. There was a lot of random cool stuff. Um, I'll I might release the mod though, because uh, I could see the mod being uh, being. I, I said I was gonna release it, and I just never did because uh, we never really like finished it. There was a, there's a uh, there's a um, a problem with releasing it. Uh, in like its current state that we'd have to change because right now it, it, it costs money because it, it uses like Google API or whatever to, to translate it or I don't know which API it is, I forget, but it uses um, a translate API um, for multiple things. And that costs like money. It's, it's not a lot of money, but when you have a lot of players, it's a lot of money. Um, and so like for the average people, if they were to use it, it costs money. So like either we'd have to make a deal with like some place to release it that they would like, they would do it for free or we'd have to like put in a system where you could pay you you could the mod would be free but you could pay google or whatever to use the api otherwise it doesn't work as well or support as many languages or something like it only supports um certain languages like it only supports like spanish and whatever and then like if you if you paid x amount um not to me but to like google then um like linking linking up your google account or something um but yeah, but that has to be done. So that takes some coding time, and I've been putting all of my coding time into, and all of my like effort into the new stuff I have coming out. So um, that's why that hasn't been released at all. But I, but maybe at some point it will, because then everyone can like have their own servers that has uh, people on it, you know, um, that, that that have their friends and speak to each other on through translate and stuff it would be cool. And then someone maybe someone would make a public server. Well, I guess you you can't because it's like voice, but um, but also like. You could do a, a server where like um it's an option or something and like you just wouldn't hear them but you could like see above their head like what they're saying like so nobody could hear each other's voices but they could talk in real life and like that'd be kind of cool like hype like technically like hypixel or something i guess hypixel could but, like a server could do that where if you download if you want to if you download the mod then everyone else could see like what you're saying above your head that'd be cool but, yeah i don't know um I'm, I'm definitely not gonna i'm definitely not gonna release the smp obviously at this point I'm definitely not doing that, but like I could release the mod still because that was something. It was just a cool project. Like I was really, it, it really sucks that what happened happened. And obviously, you can say you can say what you want about me. You can say what you want about the whole situation. It, when, whenever like shit like that happens, like there's always so many like ways to handle situations, and like you never get it right. You never, you just never do. And so like, obviously, you can say whatever you want. But I, I genuinely like at the end of the day, I, I thought it was an awesome project. I, I had a lot of passion behind it. I was so excited about it. Um. And then, um, uh, you know, it was just, it just didn't work out for various reasons. So, um, but, uh, but regardless, it still was really fun. It, it brought a lot of attention to the, you know, to, uh, to that, that part, part of the community. And then obviously I, I, uh, like what QSM and stuff's done is amazing. And I, I, I like, um, uh, you know, I think it's, it's just good for the Minecraft community regardless. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I would have loved to, uh, have it happen. Um, or, uh, like, uh, you know, be able to sh share resources or get things done quicker or faster or, or, um, you know, I, I would have been fine with even like just tossing, like, like as an example back then, it's just, the, the problem is, is, and I don't, again, I don't want to hop, harp on too much, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of done with like all the drama stuff. So I, I, you know, I saw somebody recently say that, you know, my Tommy comment was a drama thing. It's not drama guys. I, I, what I didn't want, what I didn't want to happen. Um, and I'll just, I guess like technically like address it real quickly. Um, I just didn't like uh, me and Tommy aren't talking right now, and I, I didn't want I didn't want to be like, oh guys, uh, Tommy said this about my song, this positive thing, 
and have people be upset like oh he's like pretending he's friends or something like i didn't i didn't want that that's the only reason i mentioned it it was not me trying to make drama or or make people mad or, or anything i laughed because i realized it's just a funny like thing to say like oh back when we were friends and you know we, we have, I haven't obviously we have, i haven't mentioned tommy in a long time so that was my first thing saying in a while um so like genuinely i was not trying to start drama um uh you know regardless of our disagreements and whatever like i think tommy's an awesome uh, guy i think tommy's content's awesome and i i loved every every second that um in every you know every fun memory we had together was amazing um and sometimes you just grow apart and you do other things and right now i'm, I'm sure in the future maybe uh we could reconcile and do some stuff together uh, it was not at all me being like oh i hate tommy now i've i have nothing but good things to say about tommy i love tommy obviously i have disagreed with things he's done things he said um certain ways he's you know, treated me or certain and i'm sure he has the same thing to say about me um uh but i love tommy i love his content i think he's a great guy um and i, I think in the future you know maybe who knows in the future um when how things wrap around obviously we had the dream smp for the longest time and, and then we, when i was working on uh usmp tommy was by far my biggest supporter behind the scenes and um you know publicly as well and uh and being you know telling me let's get it out let's get it out let's get it out and then things just never happened and i think um partially this is not at all like a reason for Tommy to um, that, that I think Tommy would say at all. Um, but like partially, I think it is disappointing that, um, you know, he was really excited for that. And, and like, I had a lot of big, you know, promises and stuff in the same way that like with the audience, people have criticized me for like, Oh, you over promise. Like I did that privately. And so I think um, that's something totally that, we, you know, we, we were doing a lot of stuff together and then we kind of uh, haven't. So obviously we're just, we just, we're just not really like friends right now. Um, but that was not at all me starting drama and that was not me trying to do that. So I saw people saying that and I, I people are obviously going to demonize me regardless, but that's not what I was trying to do. Um, but, uh, what I wanted to say was for the, uh, the whole, like, you know, that situation back then, like I, I would have loved to, uh, share resources or like, I would have been fine with just like making my video and then, and then throwing, you know, like, uh, and then having, and then even in my video promoting like the QSMP or something like that sounds kind of ridiculous in hindsight. But like I totally would have, I totally would have. And that, that obviously you just have to take my word for it and know. Um, but obviously it was just communication. Um, and I, again, I don't want to talk too much cause I don't want to, I don't want to get into drama stuff. Uh, but like, um, I don't know, I guess, uh, I guess things just happen. And, um, uh, it, it, it was just a, a super, it just worked out like the worst way it possibly could have for me and, and, and for my fan base and for, um, you know, my plans because I, I was, I was so excited for it and then it just didn't end up you know, working out. But at the same time, shit like that happens. It just happens. Um, it just, everything, it's not, everything's going to go your way. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, there, there was a, a, there's a lot of positives to it. It's still, there is still, I've met a lot of people through, through that kind of era. And, um, and then obviously the QSMP, I think, regardless of all the drama, regardless of everything is overwhelmingly positive for the Minecraft community. Um, and that's, I, at the end of the day, I love the Minecraft community and I want to do what's best for the Minecraft community. And I've, I feel like I've, I feel like I've done that and I've shown that for a very long time. Like I, as much as people have to say about me, I've done nothing but good for the overall Minecraft community in terms of like the YouTube, um, you know, scene and like the attention Minecraft gets and mainstream in terms of the connections between creators and growth, obviously so many creators, um, not due to me, not due to anything, but have grown from um, those, that era of content of like Minecraft, Bud, of Manhunts, of Dream SMP, of that, that all that stuff. And it's, it's been nothing but good for like the community. Um, obviously when the whole speedrunning stuff happened, regardless of what you can say about that drama, that brought so much to the, the, the community. At the end of the day, I ended up donating a crap ton of money to speedrun, you know, speedrunning people. Um, and even whenever I first started speedrunning, speedrunning was not a popular thing on Minecraft. It was not. That's why I was able to even get world records at all. I was not a speedrunner. I, I it would learn to speedrun to, you know, try and get records back then. And it brought tons of attention to the speedrun community. And so many people have like careers and stuff, not because of me, but because of that, because of the, the, the fact that so much attention was, was brought to the community. It was able to basically direct a spotlight to people that are extremely talented. And I think I've consistently done that and so i can say with as much you know this is me being 100 percent genuine i think the qsmp is awesome and i think the qsmp has brought a lot of good stuff to the minecraft community and i think that anyone that thinks otherwise is just an idiot like genuinely is just an idiot um but i can also say that with say for me 
um, how everything worked out back then was negative. It was just negative for me, for me personally, for my, for my image, for my, um, for my plans, for my, my YouTube, et cetera. Um, and a lot of that's due to me. A lot of that's due to just circumstance. All that's due to, you know, communication issues, misunderstandings, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, um, uh, as like tough as it was to be like, oh, I, I'm not going to do this anymore. Um, I genuinely, my, my 100% reasoning for it was just that I thought it was better for the community to, for me to just, you know, uh, for me to not do it because I thought the, you know, I, I would rather as much as, yeah, there is a lot of talk and especially because of my posts and stuff, there's a lot of talk about like, you know, dreaming, quackity and drama and whatever. At the end of the day, there would be 10 times more if the USMP was going on and there was like a server to compare it to and everyone would be going, oh, this server is dying and this server is dead and this server is better than this server. Um, and I didn't want that. And I, I, I genuinely, my big, my reasoning was not anything other than I, I would rather there be, you know, a positive spotlight on, um, the QSMP and also, the, you know, bridging the communities. And I think Quackity's a way better representation to do that. I've never argued that. And I, I think that's a hundred percent true. Quackity is better at being a figurehead for, you know, uh, languages bridging because he speaks multiple languages and he also has a lot of passion for, um, Spanish and be and the Spanish community is the biggest secondary community. So that's just true. And again, someone said, no, that's true. You, if you're, if you think that's not true, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. It's true. Um, that doesn't at all mean that, that we couldn't have done stuff together or there, there couldn't have been, you know, communication or whatever. But I, I, again, I, I like to think I'm being as unbiased as I possibly can in saying like, I recognize that. And that's why I decided not to do the USMP it was genuinely because I recognized, yeah, this is unfortunate. Yeah, this this happened, and yeah, I wish this had gone this way. And yeah, I have some gripes with you know how that went down, and I have some I have I have some share of the blame. There's other people that have share of the blame. Um, there's there's you know I, I handled certain things.